Wouldn't it be cool if you had just one button to push on a Mac that would close all your applications instantly? I'm gonna show you how to create one. And then I'm gonna show you how to create a button where you click on it and it's gonna open up certain apps that you want it to open up with just one click. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you two things you can create on a Mac that's gonna help your workflow and be very easy to do. The number one thing I'm gonna show you basically is, you know how when you have applications, you click the little X, that you know you basically minimize them, but they're still running in the background. You still have that little white dot below it or black dot below it, so it's showing that it's open, still taking some resources. I'm gonna show you how to create a button on your Mac, an application actually, that's gonna, you click on it once and it's gonna kill all of your applications that are running. Very easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do this using Automator. Automator is a built-in programming tool, I guess, built into the Mac, all Macs have it. And uh, it's a process that you can go ahead and just follow. I'm gonna show you in a couple minutes here, do a screen share, and you have to just run a really, really quick workflow. It literally takes uh, two minutes. You know, it's gonna take a little bit longer when I show you, but it's probably about two minutes of work. And then it creates a little icon on your desktop and you can move it into your applications folder. And you click on it and it'll kill all your applications. So you can definitely move it into your, your dock as well. Easy way to kill applications to make sure everything's closed and not using resources when you wanna do that. Second thing I'm gonna show you using Automator again is wouldn't it be kinda of cool if you had one little icon or application you could just click on and it would launch various applications all at once. Let me give you an example. So let's say you're a video editor and you wanna launch iMovie or Final Cut Pro, um, you know, Keynote and maybe another graphics tool or something. Maybe you want all, every time you do that workflow you have to have those applications open. So I'm gonna show you how to just have one little button you click and it's gonna open up all three or four of those applications all at once without having you to do them individually. Again, Automator is a cool thing, so let's get into it. We'll do a screen share here, and I'm gonna share, you how to do, you know, share it with you how to do it. You'll become an expert. I mean, you can do tons of things in Automator. This is just a few. Let's go. All right, let's get started. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna go down, go down here to Launchpad, so open up Launchpad. Look for the Automator. It's a little icon that looks like this. See Automator, it's gonna say, and click on it. When you do, I always tell people nothing really happens. You have to kind of go back down here and click on it again, or you can go up to File New, whatever you want to do. But I just double click. I click this guy again down here now that he's down here, and it's going to open up a window that looks just like this. All right, first step is very easy. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on Application here. See it? It's going to give you some information here, but definitely, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's pretty straightforward. Just click on Application, and then down here, click on Choose, and you'll see it there. All right, so what, what, what is Automator? Automator lets you create all these different tasks and you can create them as an application, like we just selected application and now we, we, we're gonna create an application for this. So, you know, over here it has tons of different things you can do and uh, we're gonna kinda go through here in a second exactly what the thing we wanna look for, but you can see that there's thousands, not thousands, maybe a hundred things you can do and uh, you can kinda fool around with it, just save all your work before you do. So how do we close all the applications that are open? Let me show you how to do that here. All right, so on the left-hand side over here, what you want to do is you want to go all the way down and you want to look for something under the queues. So we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. And what you want to do is you want to look for quit. And right here, quit all applications. You'll see it right there. Make sure that you're on over here on the left-hand side. Make sure you're just under the entire library. So click on library and then quit all applications. See it right here, select that. What you wanna do then is you wanna take that and drag it over to the right window over here. And it's gonna bring open this, this little box here. What you wanna do is definitely make sure ask to save changes is actually checked here. Otherwise, if you uncheck that, it'll delete, it'll just close the applications and, un and, and work that's not saved won't be saved. So you wanna make sure it asks you to save changes. And then basically what you can do is, I mean, there's really not much else you can do. You can add current applications that you do not wanna quit. So let's say, you, you know, that, that's obviously gonna defeat the purpose of closing all applications. But if you have one application that you actually wanna keep open, you can go ahead and add it here to this list. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna basically close everything. So what do we do next? All we have to do now is just basically go up to File, and we go to Save, and uh, we're gonna call it just Close All Apps, just like that, and then let's go ahead and save it. And we saved it under the applications, you saw it there. So now if I actually minimize this, and I go back down to Launchpad, you're gonna see that it created, I created some other ones earlier, so don't worry about those, but it created this little icon, looks like the same Automator icon, but this one says close all apps now. And uh, so what, What? let me go ahead and we're gonna take this 
And we're gonna go ahead and just drag this little guy. You can change the icon, that's for a different video. But you can go ahead and just drag him in down here so he's down into your dock. And let me just show you how this works now. So actually, let me just show you. All I did is I clicked on the close all apps icon here and it did close everything. The reason I couldn't show you is because it ended up closing the QuickTime player, which I'm recording on, and then I couldn't show you anyway. So I could add that as one of the applications that it should not close and then show you. But at the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, it works. Uh, that, that workflow just works fine. You click close all apps, it's going to close everything, and everything went away, including the QuickTime, which I just opened back up. But all the little black dots were gone. All the applications closed down, so very easy. So now I'm going to give you a bonus. Let's just say, let's say you want an icon just just like this where if you click on it it launches a bunch of apps for you same thing so what I'm gonna do is you go ahead and go into automator um, and you want to open up so you have to click on it again for it to open up just like that now you would go ahead and create application right there see it and you would click choose I've already created this so you you go ahead and you know you can go ahead and do that but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up to file and then I'm gonna open up recent and I called mine iMovie keynote so this one's pretty easy. So all you wanna do again is you wanna go ahead and click on library over here to make sure that all these show up. And the first thing I wanna drag over is launch application, see it there? So what you wanna do is you wanna go down the list and you wanna find the L's and you know obviously launch applications right there. So you dra I dragged this in twice, but I dragged this in once, dragged this in twice, and then both of these will show up, see them? You put them in the order that you want them to launch. And I selected, you know, you can go ahead and click this and it lets you select all your applications. And I selected iMovie and I selected Keynote because I, you know, obviously those are the two ones I want to open up. So you can put as many as you want in here. Let's say there's three or four applications that you want to all open at the same time, just with one mouse cl or with, with clicking on the application. So you go ahead and add as many as you want. Just keep dragging these over from the, from the left hand side to the right side. Um, you know, if you drag it over, it's going to give you another one. See that? If you want to remove it, just click the X. So I only want two. I'm not going to save this because I already did. So I'm just going to minimize that. So when you're all said and done, it's going to do the exact same thing. So if you go back into Launchpad, you know, I created it earlier and I called it iMovie Keynote. And I have obviously iMovie and Keynote open, or I have iMovie open right now. So long story short, though, if you double click that, it's going to open up both those applications all at once. And they're just going to launch one, two. So you can imagine, let's say you have to open up three or four applications for a workflow every time you do it. Just create a little icon, drag it in here, put a little, you know, drag it into your dock or whatever, or put it on your desktop. You double click it, and it's going to go ahead and do that. All right, so what do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? I mean... I mean, how long did that take? It took just a few minutes of work. And in fact, if you knew what you're doing, you could probably take less than a minute to create these things. I mean, a minute of work and you can do kind of things you never thought you could. Um, obviously, the one that closes all the apps is nice because a lot of people just have those things running in the background all the time. And it's never fun to have your resources being eaten up, especially when you're maybe dealing with only 8 gigs of RAM or something and some applications are taking RAM from you. So that's the number one thing. The other thing is going to be maybe a little bit less useful because you can open the apps, obviously, fairly quickly. But if you have four or five apps that you always open at the same time for some, some type of workflow, that's a great shortcut I showed you. Just create various little you know applications. You can delete them. Just drag them into the delete folder as well. Just something to think about. I mean, it's something that you can kind of fool around with Automator. And a lot of times, you know, you're just going to learn how to do different things in there and just have some fun with it. Always back up your stuff because Automator can delete and remove files and stuff. But it's, you know, with the, what I'm showing you here, you know, they're pretty safe. Just back up your stuff before you try anything. I always tell people that. And at the end of the day, fool around. That's kind of what the Mac's all about. I mean, they do definitely have that built in for reasons like that, where you can create your own stuff. And I hope it helps people. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely click the like button. Subscribe if you can. Trying to get my subscriber level up. I do a whole bunch of stuff, including reviews and everything else. So hopefully we can talk about this, uh, you know, different applications. I'm going to do maybe three or four other ones in the coming weeks. So we'll talk to you soon. Peace.